B.H. The Infinite Unveiling Rabbi Moshe wandered the lush pathways of Gan Eden, the celestial garden of delight. Radiant blossoms seemed to glow with inner light, while crystal streams danced with liquid melodies. He had explored these sublime territories for eons, savoring their spiritual pleasures. Yet, on this day, a new resonance vibrated through every mote of existence, as if in anticipation of a transformation taking shape across all realms. Turning a corner, Moshe's longtime friend and mentor King Solomon stood waiting, an enigmatic smile playing across his serene features. You feel it too, don't you, my friend? Solomon's eyes glimmered with cosmic knowingness, the whispers of something unprecedented stirring in the depths. Moshe could only nod, his soul attuned to the heightening frequencies ebbing through reality's fabric. Solomon gestured expansively. This transcendent gone Eden, even at its loftiest peaks, it is but the dimmest prelude to what is emerging. For as the ancient teachings foretold, a new universe is being born from the womb of the infinite source. Images blossomed in Moshe's inner eye, realms interweaving with realms, each more revelatory than the last. The Creator's radiant presence extending into every moat, every fleeting moment anointed with holy light. Yes, Solomon's hushed voice resonated through the blossoming awareness. A world of pure, infinite oneness, yet diversifying into a boundless tapestry of hologrammatic realms and narratives. An existence where the finite and boundless merge as one. Moshe's soul fluttered, straddling the razor's edge of mystic transport and spiritual devotion. For as their sages long debated, what was the nature of the coming world of resurrection? How could it so profoundly eclipse even the most sublime manifestations of Olam Haba, the afterlife existence they had long known? Moshe felt a sense of expansive knowing bloom within him, integrating the metaphysical realms Solomon described with the profound mystical teachings. Yes, I perceive the essence you convey, he replied, voice tinged with sacred wonder. This coming reality transcends even the loftiest unveilings we've experienced in Gan Eden. He gestured around them at the scintillating cascades of radiance. For as spiritually cultivated souls in this exalted realm, we had to first purify ourselves to become pure of hand and heart as the sages taught. The revelations here depend on shedding all vestiges of the material world through immersions in the rivers of forgetfulness. Solomon nodded sagely. Exactly so. To ascend each higher level here requires leaving behind all attachments to the previous stages, flavors, and attainments. We rise by transcending, by separating from physicality. Moshe's eyes shone with new comprehension. But the coming world to come gestates an inverse principle. There, the infinite endless light will precisely unite with materiality itself saturating every particle with undisguised divinity. Indeed, Solomon's warm chuckle enfolded him. In that new universe, the imminent Godhead won't remain a transcendent force obscured by veils. Rather, its boundless essence will form the bedrock reality, a field of oneness woven into every semblance as its quintessence. Moshe opened his awareness to the paradigm-shattering reconciliation, just as the human being integrates soul and body as complements, so too would the coming creation harmonize spirit and matter into a unified symphony. An epiphany blossomed within him. Like the relationship between the Torah's soul wisdom and the body expressions of its commandments, Solomon beamed, you apprehend the depth of the analogy just as the mitzvot, the precepts, stem from a will supernal to even the Torah's sublime reason, so too does the human form embody a divine root essence loftier than even the soul's quintessence. He pressed his palms together in a mudra of integration. This is why all souls can access the infinite revelation equally, because it unveils the primordial choice, the free divine delight, 
informing our material selves to serve as ornate vessels. While our spiritual strivings purify the soul chalice, our precepts refine the body chalice to contain that self-same oneness.